to make this abomination. Yep, I guess this is happening. Welcome to CJTV. <laughs> hey, Pizza Pizza Pizza, here with another video. And this video is going to be an awesome video because all of you are awesome. And welcome to CJTV. In today's episode, we're going to be tackling a most delectable, most delicious, most awesome looking meal that you've ever seen in Canadian animation. Yes, my friends, and I'm speaking on the one and only Kinker Burgers from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. They're so dreamy. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So here's some ingredients. I've listed them in the description and the recipe. I wanted to do something different with this approach and decided to make three different burgers based on each of the Eds. Eddie, I created a spicy burger. Double D, I created a green tea based burger. And Ed, I created a simple yet imaginative burger. All of these burgers will be turkey based because I felt that they would hold on to that green color better. First things first, creating the ketchup, which of course I made with tomato sauce. Four cups of tomato sauce bring to a simmer yeah get all that in there and stir it until she becomes thick and when it's reduced down you add in one part of Worcestershire sauce a dab of rice vinegar a good shake of salt pepper onion powder and garlic powder then get back to the stirring until it gets thicker yep that's a good consistency now we're tackling the red thing in the middle of the breakers which my version will be made from a combination of mozzarella and red food coloring. Remember to glove up or risk dyeing your fingers blood red and scaring your neighbors. Now, with your glove hand, get in there and give it a good mix. Add more food coloring if you think it's not red enough. Remember it has to be extremely red, like super red. Keep kneading, keep kneading, and then pack it. Set it aside for later. Now that the ketchup is cooled, we're going to separate it and transform it into three different sauces for each respective burger. Eddie's sauce is mirrored off of the spicy hot sauce he showed in the Haunted House episode. So I went with a chipotle based hot chup. Double D's sauce is based on his elegant yet disdained personality. From that I used black garlic and sesame oil as a driving factor in this. Oop. Oh, it's funky. And for the big lug Ed, I use raspberry preserves to create a sweeter type of sauce to bounce off of this strange but broad imagination. Oh god damn it. Come on you stupid piece of Okay, here we go. Now that our sauces are done, we can work on our burgers. Each burger will be created with green items. Eddie will be from jalapenos, double D from matcha green tea powder. In Ed, I'll use green food coloring. Separate them so you can form six medium sized patties each. Blend up the jalapenos till it gets to an almost liquidy substance. Pour the concoction and get ready to glove up again. Ed and Double D's were pretty easy. Just open and dump it until it was green enough. Now that our burgers were finished, being greenified, we could put them together and cook them. Preheat the oven for 400 degrees Fahrenheit for all you English people. Uh, separate each patty into twos, then pack in a ball of the red mozzarella filling into each, then putting them together to form mega patties. Place them into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until they register an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, since the burgers are in the oven, I'll take the liberty of toasting the buns in an Ed, Ed and Eddie fashion way doing it. Pure butane. However, how long it takes to set up the free burgers, um, toast accordingly. Okay, now to set up the free burgers because I'm hungry. And this SpongeBob type of ordering, sauce, patty, sauce, bun, and bam, the canker burgers are finished. 
time for a cross section and it looks pretty accurate I guess and just like the show I'm going to wash it all down with some good old powder milk <laughs> who am I kidding this stuff is disgusting completely honest I shot that a few months ago that was back in July when I shot that and I am actually in a new place now so upon my final review on each burger um, the Ed burger the most simplest one was the best one out of it it seemed more um, more balanced than the Eddie one the Eddie one was too spicy and less flavorful uh, the double D one was extremely like bitter um, maybe I will actually try to recreate it uh, in a new video so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching this video guys um, like subscribe share hit the notification bell and peace out <laughs>